Hey, what's up everybody? I got a question yesterday about supplements from one of our athletes. Thought I would make a quick video just to give uh, you an idea about how to think of supplements. First of all, they are supplements. So we're never going to have a conversation about where I want you to replace food with a powder or a pill or uh, I want you to eat whole foods, mostly plants, most of the time. Now, once you're doing that, yes, there can be some supplements that may help you perform better, but for most of us, we care about supplements to recover faster. First of all, creatine. Uh, creatine is going to help you perform a little bit better, but it's mainly going to help you recover. Meanwhile, Colin's here picking up his food. Hey, this is me and Colin. Here's Colin, and here, this is why I'm turning it back on. Because he looks fancy in his in his shirt, um, Colin A. Okay, hey go. Colin. Hey Colin, what is in here? Really good food. Really that's good food. Easy to uh, <laughs> prepare. Because <laughs> you just put it in the microwave. Yeah. Right. So Colin got his food from Front Door Gourmet. We're talking about supplements, and the first point that I'm making about supplements is start with whole foods. Mostly plants, most of the time. We're back. Colin has, has gotten his food from Front Door Gourmet and he is making his way home to enjoy that delicious meal. Okay, back to supplements. So creatine will help you uh, recover. We've got some multivitamins here. We, this is his, his and hers multivitamins. Multivitamins help uh, bridge the gap. Usually, uh, if we're eating whole foods, mostly plants, most of the time, we may not need a multivitamin, especially if we're focusing on that mostly plants piece. That's where you're going to get your vitamins and your minerals. The main question I get, protein. Should I be taking protein powder? Again, we're not gonna start anyone with protein powder. We want to try to maximize the amount of protein that you're eating, fish, red meat, seafood, pork, eggs, you know, let's try to get in as much real food as possible. But if you're like me, um, I mean, I'm eating three, three meals a day of whole foods, mostly plants, most of the time, I'm still not getting in enough protein. I use a protein supplement. I actually use casein protein. This is whey protein. It's a great way uh, to get in your extra protein with very limited calories. This is a clean protein. This is Driven Nutrition. We only sell high quality supplements here. If you wanna get supplements somewhere else, perfectly fine. Here's the deal. Um, with a protein supplement, you need to be spending at least $20 a pound. If you're not spending $20 a pound, then you're, you're buying a lot of fillers. And the problem is that as you start to use that protein, your body isn't going to be able to, to hydrolyze it and get it into the bloodstream and get it to the cells where you need it. Instead, you're just gonna pass it right through. So you're gonna end up paying for it uh, one way or, the another, or another. I prefer to pay up front. Driven Nutrition, SFH, uh, Puori, uh, Ascent Protein, those are, those are great options. Any of those options will work. Uh, another thing on protein supplements, when you start, to start with half a scoop. Don't feel like you have to do the whole thing all at once. Start with half a scoop, see how that works in your digestive system. Do a half a scoop every day for a week. Then go up to three quarters of a scoop. Do that every day for a week. And then finally go up to, um, to a full scoop a week. I recommend that for my protein supplements. I recommend that for any other supplement, um, really besides the creatine and for the multivitamin. Hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.